Shanti, everyone. Welcome to, to the amazing space today. We have reached to chakra number seven. <clears throat> it's called crown chakra. The Sanskrit name is Sahasrara. And um, Sahasrara in Sanskrit translates to thousand petal, thousand. So the symbol of this chakra is a thousand petal lotus. Um, I can quickly show it in the slide. So this is a thousand petal lotus. When the energy, the series we did is to channelize the energy system resides within us to liberate it from bottom up, 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 up. And now in the seventh chakra, the location is above the surface of the head. This chakra is not within the body, it is just here. So energy is channelized and it is liberating like a thousand petal lotus, beautifully illuminating with the light of the energy we have channelized. From, so from where this energy comes, the light comes. Now it's a question, right? So this energy comes from the universe. Universe, when we are connected, with the energy of the crown chakra that means we are connected with the universe we are beyond we know ourselves what who we are by working on each chakra root chakra sacral chakra solar chakra heart chakra throat chakra third eye chakra and now the top the crown chakra so we have known our strengths deficiencies what are the balance characteristics of uh, personally I have in each particular chakras and knowing the deficiency and the access, I have learned how to balance it. So gradually we are ready to connect our energy with the universe. And that happens when we have open eyes when we are the demon of this chakra is um, attachment attachment and um, whoever has attended murli class today we all learned about the attachment today right De get detached and uh, just connect with one so that one whatever idea of that one pertains to each of you. I see most of us here are going to Brahma Kumari centers. So we know who that one is. So to connect with the one, we have to stay grounded, but even then we have to be detached. The Supreme is teaching us to stay within the society do our uh, duties but still be detached and stay connected with the higher power so that is the goal and the energy and the balance of this chakra so to begin connecting with this chakra we will do a beautiful energy work just to stimulate the crown chakra so the gland hormonal gland attached with this chakra is the pituitary gland the pituitary gland and hypothalamus out of nine or ten important hormones 
necessary for the bodily functions. Eight hormones are secreted from pituitary glands. So we can imagine what is the impact of this energy chakra on particularly crown chakra on the body and how important it is to have this chakra balanced so that the pituitary gland works at the highest function and rest of the body is able to function very, very well. So the mudra of this chakra is like the crown. We create the point index finger first and then touch the uh, pads of the thumbs and pull them upward, creating a pyramid, creating a pyramid, then point rest of the finger straight up. So usually when we join this, we create like a heart symbol or, or a people lift symbol. But here we are going to create the pyramid. All the chakras are have the pyramid in their symbols, right? And then take this above the head. So let's begin, Keep bring the crown down. I will play a beautiful music. I will also share a slide to guide with. And we will chant the sound of Om with that. So let us first understand what Om is. You can let go of your crown for just a little bit. <laughs> um, the Om sound is made of three letters A, A, U, M. And A represents the creation which is in the yogic and the Hindu philosophy, Brahma is the creator. You is the manifestation or the maintenance done by Vishnu. And Um represents Shiva, the god of destruction or the newness. Destruction always follows the newness. So that is Shiva. So we have learned um, how to do the yogic breath to chant the Om sound. So gazing at this slide, We will activate our top chakra, the energy, we, the pure, holy, detached, the symbol of uh, symbol of the detachment, the lotus flower. We have bloomed beautifully above our head, and we are wearing the crown of that purity and detachment on our head. So we will all chant Om, inhale in, in a yogic breathing way, inhale deep, de depressing the diaphragm, inflating the belly out, feeling more air into the uh, chest, side wall of the chest, feeling more air into the top of the lungs, and then exhale out in the reverse order while chanting A, U, A, U, Ma. So, We'll begin. Let me know if the sound is, um, if you cannot hear me well, or if the music is overpowered. So we there are trumpets. And it was pointing out. Okay. 
Going straight. So today, to sum up the energy of all the chakras, the root chakra in the bottom and the crown chakra on the top, they are like the book ends. When we have the shelf of book loose on the table, we, have the, we use the book ends and they hold the whole rack in place. So the root chakra and crown chakra holds this energy body in place and according to the situations, how we react, how we uh, uh, create our emotional, physical body, according to the information we perceive, the energy keeps moving up and down. So today's yoga asana that we'll, we will revise the whole energy system. So let's get ready to Stand up and do our physical work. Keep all the props handy so that whenever you need it, they are nearby. Especially the blonde piece you have. So we will begin. Standing up, we recollect how we strengthen the root chakra by being aware of the four points on the sole of the feet. Remember that, lift the toes up and engage both feet at each four points of both soles. Two in the front, 
and two in the back. And then gently rest all the toes. We are not standing on the points of the toes at all. Standing, hip width apart. Slowly, circle sweep, inhale, both hands up. And exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale. One single hand. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift and release. Alternate. Alternating two more times. Inhale, exhale, try back. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side bend. And back to center, exhale, release. Next, we spread both legs wide, comfortably wide. We will do, we are moving to um, sacral chakra. We will combine the sacral and the money pool chakra, the wheel power, the, the wheel to act what we have our purpose to manifest. So for that, we are, we are going to do warrior series and goddess pose all in a flow. So point, left toes out to the left, bend the left knee, both hands out to the side. And let, let us also, now this will be a complex series. We will work on the four chakras here. So let's create the space now. Remember, we learn how to do these poses correctly, creating space in that lower back, the humble, genuine space, which is non-harmful. So check the points if in this position, anywhere in the area, this middle area, it is stretching unevenly or painfully. First, we keep both our hands on the hips and extend the upper body straight. In order to do that, the leg can straighten up. That's okay. Deep inhaling, bring the lower back in at a neutral place. The pelvic is pointing neutral, pointing to the front. And then slowly exhale and take a softness into this knee joint. The knee should be exactly on top of the heel. We do this action without losing that space we created, the left spine. Now we extend both hands out. Deep inhale in. And while exhaling, we expand from inner thighs. You can also take affirmation here. I'm inhaling the fresh divine energy and releasing the stale energy from within. Exhale out through mouth. Turn the gaze to left hand fingers. I am well rooted through my feet into a stable ground. I have canalized the senses of my pleasure and sensuality in right direction, in a spiritual direction. Repeat this affirmation. Let's 
slowly bring hands down on the side of the hips, bow hips straight. We can bring both feet slightly close, turning toes of the both feet to the front now. We're going into goddess pose, the powerful pose. Also, channelizing energy in the sacral chakra. Both hands out to the side, palms facing up. Bend from elbow. Both palms facing to head first. Slowly, now turn both toes to the corners of the mat and slowly take a sit. Swa Adi Stang. One's own sweet turn, sit turning the palms out. I am sitting on the divine seat. Keeping the divinity in the thoughts and knowing the direction where I want to travel. I am the driver and ready to roll. And slowly straighten both legs and release both hands down to the side. We can roll shoulders, release the tension if we have built, and the shoulders. Turning right foot toes out to the side, we can go a little bit wider at this point if that is available. Remember the space we created, keeping the lower back space safe and with the space. Right knee, Soft exactly on top of the heel. And this is pointing to the front. So one more thing, whenever we practice warrior one, warrior two, whichever leg is bent on that foot, we weigh more on the pinky toe side. It is a, often because our inner thigh muscles are not that much powerful, our leg tend to fall in. So to create that strength, way more on the pinky toe side. And take the gaze to the right hand side fingers. So I was fierce warrior from the sacral chakra. We move up to the solar power the solar chakra, mani puni chakra, the city of gems, using my gem qualities. I am acting out through my will and I have that power. It's like pushing the gas into the car with full throttle, knowing the right direction. Keep breathing. And slowly bring both hands down, both feet close. Slowly walk both, both feet closer. Take a deep breath in, inhale, and exhale. Feeling proud of ourselves, inhale. And exhale. I have mastered how to channelize my energy body. Feeling the proud and gratitude of allowing ourselves to work on ourselves. There has to be a gratitude. Next, we will do warrior one pose. For that, we turn to the short side of the mat. And step back with the right leg first, halfway. To have a better balance here, we can keep both legs wide. 
the toes of the back foot pointing to that side cor front corner of the mat. Left knee soft and gently raise both hands up. Both arms by the side of the ears. Again, remember that space we created in the lower back. We shouldn't arch the back like this, not yet. We might go there, but warrior one, safely done with that space kept intact. Breathing straight ahead. With the fierce gaze, with the press coordination. Bring both hands down to the heart center here. Deep inhale in. And exhale, we twist towards the left side, whichever leg is in the front. So, I'll just fix this straight so that I can fix to you. Okay, and exhale, twist to that side. Taking the affirmation here along the path, path of liberation. There are twists and turns, but I remain focused on my path. I try not to deviate or wobble and lose my direction. And slowly turn back to the front and release the warrior one pose. We will do this on the other side next. Step back with left leg, right leg is in the front. So we circle sweep slowly, raise both hands up. Keep the back neutral. Back knee straight. Here in the car, straight forward, enjoying the front view. Imagine the beautiful scenery. Selling, bring both hands and pass center in Anjali Mudra. Inhale. And exhale, twist to the right side. Keep breathing. And slowly come back to the center. And release both hands. Come back to the front. Again, we spread the legs just slightly, shoulder width. We're gonna do standing twists. Extend both hands out to the side, deep inhaling. Let the head stay steady on the body. We twist only from the middle of the body. Exhale, please. Inhale back to center. Exhale on this side. Keep going. With the awareness that I am working on my solar power chakra. The solar chakra, the power chakra. And let us speak well on both sides. Come back. 
Angeles. From here, we are going to go to forward fold. So, separate both legs comfortably as far as possible. Keep the blocks hanging one or two, whatever number of blocks you have. It's fine. First, we keep hands at hips, and with a deep inhale, we make the front torso larger, create a back bend in the spine, and then from the hip crease, we will fold forward. So, deep inhale in, and exhale slowly, fold forward. With a straight back, and reach down on the legs as down as possible without softening the knee. We can also take support of the blocks in whichever height we can use. Deep neck neck is neutral at this point. We can slowly take round the back safely if we did okay on the back and go into a further forward fold. Each exhalation, pressing the belly in, exhale and try to explore. The deeper fold. And then slowly walk both hands to one of the legs. Doesn't matter which side you take first. Stay here and keep breathing. Breathe into that open side of the body. Press the belly into exhale. And slowly walk both hands to the other side. Take hands back to the center. We can use the block to rest one hand. Rest the left hand on the block. Use the appropriate height. Right hand on the right hip. Inhale and open the right side. Open the heart center. Extend that right hand up towards the ceiling if it is available. If not, it's okay to keep on the hip. Gazing on the side wall. Or if it is okay on the neck. Gaze on the ceiling. Slowly bring the hand at the hip and turning torso towards the ground. Switch hands, left hand on left hip. Deep breath here. And put it over there. We'll extend this left to that. Extend the heart center. And slowly bring the top and the feet first. Turning the torso down. Both hands down. Both knees soft and circle sweep, rise up. And exhale, hands are high. Now for the heart and the throat, we're gonna to turn to the left in the same wide position. Hands at hips. And take this as a um, as long as position available, safely available. 
we're gonna do a high lunge. So it is okay if the heel of the back foot is raised. If it is grounded, that's fine. Bend the front knee and circle sweep slowly, raise both hands up. Slowly and steadily, keep breathing in, exhale out. We are deepening the lunge. We can use the chair for a supportive pose. Now with each inhalation, we extend the front torso. Now we did in the previous pose. We do the back side. Opening the heart center. Gazing at the trees of the wall and feeling. Imagining the space beyond the sky of the heart. Reaching there into that space. Slowly bring the both hands apart. Releasing the pose. Walking both feet together. It's fine. If the legs are higher, we can take a circle around the mat and come back to our mat. The journey, we take a break, right? Every two hours, we take a break. So, Same. Open heart lunge pose on the other side. Step back with left leg as far as possible. Front knee bend. Hands and hips first. Take the position. We make ourselves well grounded. Circle sweep both hands up. Relax, relax the spine first, relax the energy body of the physical body and slowly inhale and expand the front of the body. Gaze upward, open the heart center. Accepting ourselves and others as they are. No expectations. And by now you have a calling, open heart. I can see others as how they are. And I can give you easily. Practicing gratitude for what we get. And creating a humble attitude. And slowly bring. Both hands down, straight spine, turn to the front to release the pose. Beautiful. How are we doing so far? Good? Good. So next, we are going to go down on the mat. Whichever way, easy to go on the mat or on the chair, it's fine. I will just sit, not, not taking the nap. <clears throat> All right, so we learned how to create comfortable sitting position, right? <clears throat> we can use the prop of a cushion or a folded blanket, whichever is available. You can sit on the ground as well, it's fine. So, sitting straight, 
deep inhale in and exhale let's do two more Here we turn our legs to the back, going into child pose. So we can either keep knees wide or together, whichever is okay, it's fine. Keep the block handy if head is not touching to the mat today. We can always use the beautiful sweet props. Extend both hands to the front and press the forehead. Activating the energy in the Agya uh, Chakra, the uh, third eye chakra. Deep inhale into the back of the body. Slowly lift up one vertebra at a time, walking hands close to the body. Bringing both knees together, you're going to do a different pose that we have not practiced so far. It is called hair pose, the rabbit hair moves the rabbit. Rabbit, we know how he digs his head into the crown, right? So it is exactly that kind of pose, activating the energy of the crown chakra. So the top of the head is touching to the crown. So now if that is not happening, we have the props. Keep the block here. Now we come to kneeling position. Now going back to the throat chakra. Creating the space and alignment. Mentally take note how the knees and the hips are in one straight line. So without losing that alignment, we fold forward and then eventually round the back, round the back to bring the top of the head on the mat. So we first inhale deep. And exhale, folding from hip crease, slowly come down. Remember, we're not losing this alignment. Exhale, bringing the head down. Use the block if it is required. And now reaching back into the legs. If it is Available, grab on the soles or anywhere on the legs. Slowly bring both hands by the side of the head, pressing into hands and come back to all four and sit back into child's voice. Reach all the way down, relax.
slowly walk both hands back towards your body. Come back to the sitting position. Now here, you're gonna, we have come up to the crown chakra. So whoever can sit into the lotus fold, Padmasana, feel free to do that. In a modified way, we can do only half lotus pose. Just put one leg up. If it is possible, then bring the other leg up. Remember, we can sit on the cushion if, uh, if the tissues around knees are stretching too much. Sitting on a cushion does help. Or the other pose for uh, other pose we would like to be in because yoga is all about to create a still so come asana. Sir is steady, so come is happy, asana means a sit. So we do all this physical asana to train the body that we can have an easy seated pose. If this one is not an easy seated pose, we can go into any easy seated pose or we can go into Savasana and that will be equally or very, very well beneficial for this meditation we are going to uh, affirmation meditation practice. So feel free to take any pose you want to do at this point. And now we're going to do that affirmation meditation. Okay. I will share music. Let me know if the music is too loud. Music is okay. So we take our seated position. When the energy in the crown chakra is open and in balance. We can manifest and as well as we can be in a proper bound. We feel the liberation but we are still connected to the ground by root chakra. So before we go into the meditation, I would like to uh, say up the characteristics when energy in this chakra is excessive one feels disassociation from body they have spiritual addiction they have a, like a disconnection from the spirit excessive attachment the attachments would be different and then the deficient characteristics are there they have spiritual Zionism. The, the energy in here it should be liberation, not to any so they have when the deficient energy they have the spiritual Zionism. Learning the pulse, teaching belief systems like that. But when 
Wisdom and the mastery. We have the mastery. Have we went through the whole yoga asana transformation? That mastery is very easy to come in any situation. The whole point of doing yoga practice on yoga mat is to take this off the mat into the practical way. Yoga is not an exercise we do for half an hour or one hour. This is a life we are creating on the mat, taking it off the mat. So that's the whole purpose. So the, when it is done very well, the energy at the crown chakra is intelligence and balance. One is very well present in the moment. And then they have open-mindedness and then ability to learn, ability to accept everyone. And uh, they have the uh, ability to analyze and assimilate the information getting into the third chakra. So, that's where some characteristics imbalance, excess, and deficiency. Now, we are going to sit in our position. I would uh, say uh, if uh, you're not going to fall asleep, so I will guide for this Savasana and we will go into that So the whole body is grounded. My body scan each part of the body. Relaxing. Let the feet fall apart. Back of the heels, calves, eyes are grounded. Hips are grounded. And check the lower back. If it is not grounded proper on the hips or put a prop under like a towel or something, you know the groundedness. Older bits are apart. Jaws relaxed. Back to the feet. Be attached to the top of the mouth. Eyes closed. Temples fully relaxed. Softly gazing. Far part universe. the whole body go to the toes of the body. Let the thoughts come in. Spiritually awakened, energy in the body, As I am an energy, everything around me is energy. The 
in this energy form whatever information I need it comes very easily to me Everything is connected and united. Rising above the physical world, deep to the space, and I see the earth as a small ball. I see all the planets. rotating on their own. It's a beautiful world. Beautiful universe. Yeah. I see all the planets. Amazed at this synchronization, and I feel all of this very, very trustworthy. As I gaze to that central and I'm getting drifted into that. Energy. I have realized 
that this is the world who is guiding into my higher purpose. and love and the power to exist and fulfill my purpose into the universe. I'm just being here Staying close to this power source. I'm getting fulfilled. gathered enough power for today and I'm assured by this meeting with this one that I'm going to come back again and again to this day. I'm going to get recharged and reconnected. I will get recharged and reconnected to my purpose each and every time I come here. And now I'm ready to come back to the physical world to manifest purpose of my existence it's difficult to move the fingers all joints of the body Eyes closed, turn on the right side in fetal pose, and supporting head with arm. My status of Karmasinam. My easy seated pole. To end this beautiful practice today, we will chant the Om three times again and then we'll chant the peace for three times. We can create the mudra. We have learned so many mudras so far. Take any one, whichever is favorite. My favorite mudra is the Infant Heart Chakra, the Lotus Mudra. I will take that. Feel free, you can take any one you want. In spiny red, keeping the energy. Just 
Best wishes. This will help all of you on your own journey into the spiritual life. Namaste.